Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to give each group a scenario card, which is a problem, and you're going to, we're going to we'll pass these around the room. You're going to look at your scenario and you're going to decide how the commanding person would respond to it and how the visionary person would respond to your scenario. Does that make sense? So you may have a problem, you'll have to say, well, if it was a commanding person, they would tell me to do this. Or if it was a visionary person, they would probably tell me to do this. And then we'll, we'll switch the charts amongst. If you look at your participants' um, workbook, which is this particular book here, on this first page, it tells you a little bit more about the style. So if you're trying to decide how that person would respond, you can go back to this first page and look to see whether that makes sense. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. you have with the two styles that you have you're going to describe your scenario everyone's going to listen to how they answered it for that style and see if we agree with their answers or not who's going first okay oh the busy me <laughs> busy bags <laughs> okay so tell us your scenario so uh, our scenario is our library signs are faded and no one can read them so what should we do so you ask for your director's advice on the following issue. Okay, so tell us which two styles did you have? So the last one, uh, we have a piece setting, a piece, a case setting and quoting. Okay. So for the piece setting, case setting, okay. Um, okay, I will put away the old ones. I will show you how to do this. Do as I do. This is for case setting. Okay. And then coating. We can use the Nile signs and let's see how long they last. Okay. Does everybody agree with that? Yes. Yes. Uh, I think you nailed the case setter. That's exactly what the case setter would do. I think the person who coached may, be, may say to you, so. Um, here's a suggestion I have for you. You could go out and get quotes, and then you could decide how much it's going to cost, and they might give you some activities to do. Okay? Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, good. But it's a good job. <laughs> okay, what about what about our cockroaches? Peter is always late to walk. I have discussed with him, and nothing has changed. So what should I do? Okay, so tell us the two styles. I'm sorry. And we have affiliate and the democratic. Okay. The first one is affiliate. The answer we have is a uh, uh, visit his home and uh, invite break breakfast early and go to the office together. So say that again. The affiliate. <laughs> uh, visit his home and uh, invite a break break breakfast early and go to the office together. Oh, interesting. Go to his house and come to the office today. That's quite an affiliate. The other one is a dual credit. Uh -huh. and, uh, our solution is to arrange an informal meeting with him and other team members to discuss the issues and to ask to, uh, for suggestions from other members and share their experience to arrive at the office in time. Okay. And, and then uh, let them discuss among team members who live to close to his area about. How do you help him? Can I help you? Okay, so what does everybody else think? Did they get those two styles right? Democratic and affiliative. 
you, yeah, the part of the you have to ask that. You have to ask, you have to ask the others. So you, I think you did a good job. I think there would be an amazing affiliate leader who went to somebody's house and bought them <laughs> That would be really affiliate. <laughs> um, they, might, they might say something more like, um, is he having problems? Is there a problem with transportation? They might ask, what is the problem? And, you know, so, so I think you you did get it right. You did absolutely get it right. So congratulations. Right. Personal, trying to figure out what the personal piece of this is. Okay, very good. Okay, our last table. My scenario is I'm asking my director's advice for following issue. So I'm asking, like, uh, our users are complaining about how long they have to wait to use a computer. What should we do? So, uh, for visionary, uh -huh. um, his answer is like uh, he create and think plans to solve this issue, and he he is thinking so many plans, and uh, he explained me in detail to implement his plans. So um, the the thing is, uh, he uh, didn't give me uh, the exact plans. Which one? Shall I choose? But he gave me so many things and explained. Okay, that sounds good. Yeah, good. And another one is uh, commanding. Uh huh. So I'm asking the same question, and he answered that uh, we can do nothing. Just let it be. Oh. Hmm? Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, commanding. Yes. Yeah. So what do you think? Did they get the styles right? Does that sound right to you? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. You did you did a good job of doing that. Thank you. So what was the hardest style to think about for you? The most difficult style to think when you were answering your question. Visionary. Visionary. Visionary, yes. visionary right? Was it for you too, visionary? Visionary is the hardest. Yeah, and what about this group? Pay setting. The pay setting was the hardest for you. Yeah, it's, that's a hard one to think about too, right? What one was the easiest? Commanding. Commanding. Right. Commanding is the easiest one to think about. Um, so, so what did you learn by doing this exercise? We understand uh, the uh, different styles. Oh, you understand the different styles. <coughs> when you think about people that you might report to, can you start to think about their style a little bit? So you're, if you have somebody that is your superior or your boss, can you start to think yeah. maybe what their style might be, yeah. right? And how that might change how you approach them, right? If you approach somebody with a commanding style, you kind of know what answer you're going to get. If you approach somebody with an affiliative style, you're going to get a different answer. So one thing as leaders that's important is to recognize what are the styles of the other people around you. That's very important because you need to be able to maneuver these styles. Okay, ready to move on?